Uh, hello, hello, hello. How are we going, David? How are we doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good. All right, so we decided, oh, pretty much I decided and I dragged you along, that we're going to drink some... I'm drinking cider. Are you drinking anything? I'm also drinking a nice mango and passion fruit cider. Oh, shit, that sounds good. Yeah, oh. it's very good. I love how cold my drink is. It's just fucking refreshing. <laughs> We said, you know, if we're gonna get, if we're gonna get like smashed on a Thursday night, it was the most fun thing we can think of doing. <laughs> and I guess, I guess it came. We wanted to do like um, tier list maker, and yeah, I guess I said, fuck it, we're doing Sonic tier list because no, like, there's no no greater satisfaction than listing all your favourite Sonic games while drinking. I'm probably getting drunk in the process. Alright, where to start? I think we should start with Mean Bean Machine. And probably skip some of the extra fluff like Shadow, Metal Sonic and 4. You know. But Mean Bean Machine, where do you think that should go, David? No. Do you want me to tell... Do you know what Mean Bean Machine is? Or am I going to have to go into a bit of a rant? No, I, I know of it. I've played it. It's pretty yeah. good. It's like the what, classic. It was a meant... It's a reskin of a... Well, I can't even remember what it's called. It's like a pure Puyo Puyo, right? Or something like that. Yeah. A reskinned American version. But the game's actually amazing. And everyone loves it. Like, but, no one likes talking about that. The, all right. And another thing is, I don't want to put too many in SS. I think a maximum of three in SS. Probably a maximum of five in S. So going by that, I think we should... Pr I'm feeling A. What do you think? I'm feeling A. What do you think, David? <laughs> A is pretty solid. I think A is solid. Um, let's see, what's the next one then? Uh, Shadow, no. Knuckles Chaotic. I know I've played Knuckles Chaotic, but I heard it was bad. Uh, I don't know. We got the Olympic titles. Have you ever played Sonic Mario the Olympic Games? Oh, I will say, I haven't played Sonic Chaotic, but I do want to... Oh. I, don't, I can't remember if it's like the Sega CD or the Sega. Uh, it was one of the extensions. Like yeah, it's the like the Jaguars or something, or 32X, yeah. yeah. Like, I do one day would like to like pick up a retro console like yeah. that and play it, but yeah. no. Um, I think I played Mario and Sonic at the Olympics, mm. which was, it was okay, but they I, just might be like... I remember the, the first one being amazing. I'm really loving it. And then I, the Winter Olympics was really good. But I think it was probably after London the quality started going down, and I think that was because the first, the well the Olymp the London Olympics right happened in 2012, and that was bef just around the time where the Wii was dying. It was like one of the very last few Wii games, but the the Wii U hadn't come out until 2013. I say that's arguably right. So I still think they put some quality behind it. Uh, um, uh, so I would argue that I think the first Sonic and the Mario Olympic Games is definitely a B tier game. I really like the first Winter Olympics one, but I think I'll probably put that a B tier. But I, heard I was going to say I heard people say London's the best one, even though I've never played it. Actually, I did play it once, but mm, mm, I don't mm. know. Did you ever play them that seriously? I didn't play London, but I was going to say just because they're like fun Wii games, I was going to stick them all in B tier because you know. They're not bad, but they're not yeah. crazy. You know, they're fun when you're, you know, I with friends. I played these. I heard they went low, pretty shit. Uh, what's this? Sonic. You can't Hades. badmouth Nintendo. They come and get us. <laughs> you can't badmouth them. You can't badmouth Nintendo. Uh, I'm gonna... already looking behind me. So I'm gonna skip anything I can't remember or don't know. That's so, fair. Like I've never played the <laughs> Lego crazy. Dimension Sonic. I never, I never played the Shadow Story and Forces. But that's, I suppose that's a bit of a bad bit. Oh, do you remember Sonic Sega Superstars Tennis? Did you ever play that? I did. I remember having that oh, with like so um, it came with like Kung Fu Panda and Indiana yeah, Jones. Uh, yeah, I remember it had the. Did it have the? Huh? I feel like I had the, like the sombrero guy on it. Um, yeah, I can't remember yes. what his name was. I remember it being super fun though. Yeah. Honestly, I enjoyed it. I think I got. I think. I think B tier. Like all, we're putting all the party games in B tier. <laughs> That's yeah, but they are because they're yeah. not bad, but they are fun. Like yeah. uh, Shadow the Hedgehog. Ah, oh, we're going. This is this is where it gets really serious now. Uh, yeah. I know a part of me. I part of me knows it's probably a C tier game. 
Yeah. But there's a part of me that wants to put it in A tier. I mean, to be honest, right? <laughs> Real talk. It's a D tier game. Like yeah. the the map is awful. The Kalach here where you have to go is pretty awful. It makes you end up replaying a lot of the games. So it's kind of. But music's banging. The music's um, great. The How hyped did you feel when you saw like Shadow holding Sonic's head and he's got that oh. pistol, that Glock? Like, oh my god, it's <laughs> it's, it's 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 that's story, almost an A on its story own. Story wise, it, story wise, right? Let me say, I'll get into it. Story wise, it's shit. It's awful, right? <laughs> the characterization behind Shadow is god awful. But if you count it as its own thing, right? And you just say like this is like its own thing. It's its own edgy little side story or in a different like. I don't consider this shadow. I consider this like the edge, like a different parallel universe where we just get to see a full on edge lord shadow. Because to me, shadow's not an edge lord. He's just like if you if you followed his story from SA2 to Sonic 06, he's just slightly introverted. He's not that edgy. Like he cares about people, and that shows in his character. Um, I think from a gameplay, I think I do like how you're you've got different routes and you can chart your course across the map i think i really liked that as a kid i liked how there was a lot of secrets it's a good idea it, it's, it's just really poorly yeah, planned the, like I think, executed i think that, going forward with these videos right this video we're gonna see a lot of that with sonic games great ideas yeah. but just nothing is like flushed out yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Um, you first but so i like, think from a music and I, I think it was shadow was a little bit clunky like the guns i thought i thought the gameplay was fun like i had fun with the game this, it's like store I think what sets it back is probably some design there's still a few design issues story issues yeah but gameplay and like voice acting was actually really good in it you know where's that damn fourth chaos emerald <laughs> uh, it had some good moments and I don't want to put it any lower than C but I feel like I'd be annoyed if I put it any higher than A so I think we should settle for B what do you think? That's fair. Oh shit, I had to take a huge chug then. We put that was I thought like I literally felt your urge wanting to make it an A tier. You were like I know it's a B, I but why? It, play the Bilbo meme of no, why can't I have it as an A tier? <laughs> I wanna put it in A tier. <laughs> oh. We're putting everything in B tier. Oh look. If you know, I, do you know this little shadow game here is from the McDonald's toy? There was a they had, there was a Sonic series of McDonald's toys. I think it is. It looks like a McDonald's toy. Oh, David, do you know what game's next? Go on. We need some Sonic spice. 06. Ah. Oh. I'm not putting this lower than Shadow. Oh, do you know what's do you know what's redeemed it? Right? Are we considering? Are we, cons are we considering the fan projects, or do we have to do vanilla or Sonic 06? Right? Yeah, it's vanilla, because it, it's the games, it's, it's <sighs> what they are. I want to put it in A tier. You're going to stop me, aren't you? You're going to make me force, you're going to force me to throw it in C tier. Oh, um, please, what, what do I you mean, think? What, Sonic 06? Yeah. What do you, what do you I mean, think? go for it, if you, explain why you think it's A tier. I think the Sounds design yours. is great. I think I just think it was rushed. There was some great ideas. There was a few story issues. Like Elise was sh all right. So Shadow's story is great, right? Silver's story is a bit needs a bit of work. Sonic's is by far the worst story. It's literally just him chasing after the princess. He does fuck all throughout the whole story. <laughs> Shadow seems like the only competent like person within 06, right? Maybe Blaze as well, but uh, story-wise, I get it. Get you know, buggy, but I, I think there's a. It's me being slightly even inebriated, and the fact I love 06. <laughs> I've got nostalgia goggles, and if you play, if you play the fans like, if you play the fa uh, Project 06, it's really good. Um. Fuck it, I'm putting it in A. I don't care. Look at what the modern Shadow fan is going through. That like, <laughs> with Jaws sentence of him being anything late, it's like all these side characters just being at like, 06 now warrant an A. Look at what's oh. happened to society. When that gets to S, we're dead. Yeah, so, 
so 3D Blast was okay. I swear I saw that down here somewhere. I just want to make sure this is the right 3D Blasts. You meant you were talking about 3D Blast going into this. Yeah, it's not very good. It's not very good. It's I I think it's four stages, right? And it's like it's not even 3D. It's like 2.5. There's actually two versions of it. There's one on the Genesis and there's one on the Saturn, I believe. I I might be a bit wrong on that. Game Gear. There was also a Game Gear version. Oh. I think most of these games do have Game Gear versions. I don't know much about the Game Gear versions. Um, so if a Game Gear game comes up, I might... Like, uh, Triple Trouble I've played. I like a few of the other ones I've played, so I might consider them. Uh, and, like, Sonic Unleashed also has, like three versions so that's going to take us some debating but where i think i'm gonna put i'm gonna put 3d blast in detail i think we agree can both agree on that right yeah right have you ever played the sonic advance series mm, i think i played the first one to be fair the first one's pretty good the second one's the best one the third one actually the third one's here the third I don't know, it's been a while, so I have played these, I played them on a Game Boy, I think it was a Game Boy Color or something, no, it was, can't, you can't, it was a Game Boy Advance. Um, I think third one's the worst, I think the reason I dislike the third one, because it sacrificed speed for gimmicks, right? So I think I'll put that in C tier, I think Sonic, Sonic Advance is still solid to me, and I think Sonic Advance 2 is A tier, and you probably can't remember. I think that Sonic Advance 2, right? Yeah. So that it basically expanded upon everything Sonic Advance did, 1 did right. Added in more loops and speed sections. Um, it had a broken character called Cheese and Cream. And if you didn't know in that game, you can basically suicide throw... I can't remember who it was. I think it was Cheese. And you could just throw them at the enemy. You could just... It's basic. Do you know how you can, like, Tails and just sit back and watch Tails do all the work? Is yeah. essentially that. Ah. Uh, so, yeah. Um, oh, here's where it gets fun. Um, so, so I, I'm not going to count the Dreamcast Sonic... Oh, but Sonic... Like, uh, do you know some people consider Sonic Adventure 2, the original, better than Battle because of some of the modifications to the sprite work? Um, Wait a minute. Which one is on the right? Show me Adventure so 2. You've got, you got Sonic Adventure you know, 2 and Battle. I actually like Adventure 2 more than Battle, I'm not going to lie. A, lot, a, few, a load of people say that. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm too lazy because I can't remember what the differences were. I've never played the original, I've only ever played Battle. I think Battle has extra multiplayer modes in and it, I think it messed up some of the graphics for people. Uh, is that right? I believe so. Or it might have been DX. Um... I'm going to count them, David, as their own thing, right? So, I'm not going to re-vote them. Now, here's the question. This might be our first SS title, right? I think we can both agree Sonic Adventure 2 is an SS game. Surely. Yeah, surely, it's fair. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Is fair. so many reasons. Yeah, SS, SS, yeah. Sorry. And we're only going to put two games in SS, and I, I know what the other one is. Um, we'll talk about it later. Actually, my yeah, sure. Uh, what about Sonic Adventure? I think that's another S. I don't think it's as good as Sonic Adventure. What do you think? Do you think it should be a bit lower? Because you've got to take consideration. There's also some really bad stuff with Sonic Adventure. Like you've got the awful big missions, which don't even work. Wait, is that the is Sonic Adventure the DX one? Duh. Yeah. I'm oh man! Oh, I'd, I'd make that probably like a C, because like one really? is pretty bad compared to. Oh, it's it's really buggy. Compa I, I found one a lot more buggy compared to two. Really the chaos Sonic, store is alright though. You really think Sonic Adventure should be in C? <sighs> I I agree Give me a with minute. you. If it was like A. Because Sonic's missions were great. Tails' missions were broken because you could just fly away halfway across the map. Amy was slow. Knuckles was fine. Uh. Omega, uh, was it? Oh, I can't remember his name. One two was it? Mono, one oh four Gamma. It was Gamma, yeah. Gamma was. He wasn't as good as the. Um, they've refined that gameplay in Sonic Adventure Two, I believe. Yeah, I'll probably put it in A. It's not gonna be an S. 
I don't think it'll be an S, but I think nah. Sonic Adventure to me is an S. Um, so if we look at pretty much the good 3D games like A tier, it's all what's really above that. It is a game I might get some shit for for putting S tier, right? I think Sonic and All Stars Racing Transformed is a great, is probably the best Sonic Racing game we've ever had. Um, oh man. Why? Do you, have you, you've played it. I right? don't know, but I know some people really like Sonic Riders. What's the one on GameCube? Do we like that one? That was Sonic Riders, wasn't it? Yeah, it we're, was. we're going to talk so. about that. That's that's good. But I don't know That's if it's pretty good. Transformed. I'm not, I really like Transformed. I just, you know, I like boating. I like, I can't even remember. I'm, I'm getting too, I'm too tired and drinking too much to remember. <laughs> oh God, this game's great though. I'm like going off gut instinct at this point. Oh. All right, all right. Alright, so are we, are we agreeing Sonic and Racing is definitely uh, it's S tier? Yeah, games. I've got no against it to be fair. Right. So if you Sonic think it's S tier. Because mm. this isn't Sonic 3. This is the. Um, so if you don't know, Sonic, uh, Sonic 3 and Sonic and Knuckles, they're kind of split into two, and you have to come together to combine them. I don't. I think you need like mods to fully get it working. I can't remember. But I'm going to count this as the as everything after Mushroom Hill, alright? Um, sugar, it's it's definitely an A tier. It's definitely it's definitely above A tier because the original three, right? They're amazing to me. Uh, but oh fuck! I think Sonic Three is. I think I'd put Sonic and Knuckles here, right, in A tier, and I I think I'd probably put West Sonic Three because I'd saw it down here. I probably would put Sonic 3 and Knuckles at S tier, and then I'd probably put Sonic 3, where is it, uh, like, probably a bit more than, where did I put, yeah, about, about there, that seems right to me, at the moment, actually, I might put Mean Green Machine over there, that seems right to me at the moment, I don't know if you've got any qualms with me putting Sonic 3 and Knuckles so high, no, I'd like, I'd like Sonic 3 and I, It's not my favourite classic mm. Sonic game, but we'll get to that. Oh boy, okay, Sonic this is good. This one's fine, I'll put it in. Um, Sonic and the Black Knight. Do you remember this game? Yeah. It's really, it, it's underrated in my opinion. Like, <laughs> it, it is underrated. It's, it's, like, it doesn't have any of the issues. Well, it's got, like, the issues from, like, Secret Rings is not as bad in this game. Sure, it's still a motion control game, but all you have to do is literally swing wildly, you know, and rush forward, and you do stuff, and, like, you can, you can, um, you know, you can play as other characters. It's got, it's got, like, Shadow as Lancelot, you've got Knuckles as, and... And Blaze is in it. Yeah, Blaze, I can't remember what the, the round Yeah, no, I can't remember that. It's it been like, ages. It was something like Ga Gan... You know, and oh, Gan or something, and then the other one was Percival, something like that. Um, oh, fuck. Oh, it's, it gives you a bit of a kick, you know, if you get two big gulps like I've been doing. Um, yeah, the music's great. I think what really sets it back is that final boss is a bit tricky because of the motion controls. I don't know if it's tricky, I just think it's boring. Um, I think it's a solid A tier for me. Like, yeah, I, I think I'd... Yeah. However, and then we get to Sonic and the Sacred Ring, Secret Rings. I would put that in probably F tier, David. However, did you know mm -hmm. that's got a party mode game mode in it? No, I don't think I did. It has a four-player co-op party mode in it that's actually quite fun uh, <laughs> so okay. because of that it's going in seed sick fair we'll have to try that another few <laughs> issues with it right so obviously it's not as responsive it was rushed remember it came out like a year after 06 um, but the music's great the only issue is that the main themes play too much to death like seriously if you go back in there seven rings in hand that's all you'll be listening to <laughs> Seven rings in hand. I think it's just the orchestral version, actually. But um, oh god, 
the Sonic Boom games were like I heard the 3DS games are good, but I I can't be out of the Wii U one, right? Yeah. Uh, we're just gonna ignore Sonic Boom. <laughs> Pretend yeah, it never it existed. Was, yeah. I don't like it. It's not. Oh. I don't really like the style of it, to be fair. Oh, it's just here's, not here's something fun. So we got the remake and the original of Sonic CD. Oh, we got Sonic Battle. Actually, Sonic Battle is actually pretty good. I'll put that in the list. <laughs> Gloss over Sonic Battle, but it was pretty good. Yeah. I can't remember it very well because it was a long time. A lot of these games were such a long time ago. To this me. is basically just our like nostalgia, what we can yeah. remember on the tier list. Yeah, this is me being nostalgic. I'm not even being yeah. critical. I'm just drinking. Yeah. <laughs> David, next week we're doing anime waifus and we're just going to be bitching at each other. Oh, uh, shit. We do it on like a Saturday though, so like we yeah. can actually see we, it. And just, well, like, we could do talk. it this weekend. But it's, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm trying to fight through this massive headache at the moment. Uh, uh, but for now... Right. Okay, let's, Sonic CD. Let's finish our site. Right. Look, we're halfway. Sonic CD. Sonic CD. I'm gonna count the um, remake and not the original. Uh, a lot of people seem to really love this game or really hate it. Like, the funny thing is, right? Do you know those critics yeah. that bashed it on IGN? They said yeah. this was the only good Sonic game, <laughs> right? And do you know why people really like this game over the others? Yeah. It, it's because it's more of a platformer than any alone like. There's a lot more platforming and there's a lot more missions to it. So, in Sonic CD, you need to go into the past by getting 50 rings and going at a certain speed. Oh no, you've got to also hit a checkpoint. Then you go back into the past and you destroy it, go into the future and you get the good ending. And there's like, yeah, so you've got missions to do. You can't just blaze through a level. People, and it's like some, some, some of the design is so gimmicky and it's not... Like, Sonic 2's design is meant for speed and pl blasting through the stage at some points. You really get that adrenaline rush. Here, because, because the, there's not... You have to find places to constantly get speed. And that's probably what is quite challenging with this game. Going back and forth into the future can be a struggle. Um, it's a very gimmicky game, right? And, you know, it's got some great moments... You got Metal Sonic. I think it's definitely. I'm putting a lot in B tier, right? I think it's an upper C tier. I don't know if you disagree. Maybe a B, lower B. I don't know. I just don't want to keep throwing everything in B. Make it C. High C. I might. Just High C. Opinion. Oh boy. Sonic Chaos. I don't remember this one. I was holding Sonic R in my hand a moment ago. Look, Sonic R is down there somewhere. Oh man, we're oh. chucking it in this tier. The unfinished, the unfinished <laughs> masterpiece. <laughs> Don't you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? I oh, I think Why was Amy allowed the car? She, I don't know. Bitch was slow. <laughs> Eggman got his fucking neck. Oh, all right, David. Did you ever play Sonic Chronicles? I can't remember. I won't lie. No. I probably Sonic did. To Chronicles? be fair. PS2 a, game, isn't it? No, the no, mix no, of... it's a DS game. Oh, no, I didn't. And what it is, is it's essentially a RPG Sonic game, right? Uh, it was on the DS, and you basically had to explore the world and recruit characters like Amy, Tails, Knuckles, recruit them, and you, I can't even remember the plot that well, because it was a long time ago. All I remember was Shadow was in it, and he was fun to play, and you had to do like these mini-games to pull off attacks. I really enjoyed it as a kid because I liked Sonic and I liked RPGs. However, I went to look back at it about a, few, a year ago, and boy, did I have nostalgic goggles for that. It's it, it's like, do you know when you play a game as a kid and you think it's amazing, and then all of a sudden mm. you play it like ten years later and it seems like a cheap flash game. I don't know if you ever feel that yeah. way. It's it's a f cheap flash game, but it's. Oh, a part of me hates it, but a part of me loves it as well. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it in C. High C. I think people that like Chronicles know what I'm feeling. It's, yeah, it's, yeah. I like the idea, but some of it is a bit off. The music's awful. It's one of those rare exceptions where the Sonic game is awful music. Um, this is definitely an A tier. Sonic Colors, straight. I think both really. I can't remember. I never played the DS one that much, but I heard the DS one's really good. 
Uh, the original Sonic Colors is an A tier for me. Music's great. Um, I think my main issue with Colors, right, compared to Unleashed, Unleashed had really open level design or like open exploration. You know what I mean? Like, whereas Sonic Colors was more 2D and there was a lot more platforming to it. A lot of people prefer yeah. that. I don't. With, with Boost, I like boosting for a level. And I think the game that had the best. Like, that had the best between both worlds, right? Was Sonic Generations. And Un I think Unleashed as well. Was, like, they're the best boost games. Um, but Colors, this, this, there wasn't really any good bosses. Uh, actually, I might put it in B. And like Sonic Colors, the DS version actually had more characters. Like insane. Oh, did you know Sonic Drift was the first, was the Sonic Kart racing game? <laughs> I could quickly show you Sonic Sonic Drift. Look at this. Ah, uh, the classic Sega fix of that. I want to show you. It was like a rip off of Mario Kart. NASES style. God, I remember playing this when I was younger. I'd play anything Sonic. You know what? Screw it. That's going in D tier. <laughs> <laughs> Both of them are. Oh god, I can't even see properly. Sonic Labyrinth is going in D tier because I don't want to remember playing that. Did I put Blast somewhere? I thought we already put Blast up here somewhere. I thought we. Yeah, it's 3D Blast. Oh, this was the Game Gear version. Uh, what was the... I don't even know what some of these ones are. Sonic Dash, the mobile game. That's going in C tier. I, I enjoyed that. I, I can't... I can't lie. No, sir. Oh. Oh, fuck. Mm. Oh. I can't think anymore. Uh, this is going in there. This is going... Where's the other one? Where's the real version? This is going there. <laughs> I haven't properly played these. <laughs> that, this one, David, it's the mobile version, which is actually not that bad. I might put it in D tier. This, this version's... Everything, I don't know. I didn't like the writing, I didn't like the gameplay. Free Riders, yeah, I'm going to put Free Riders above it. Because <laughs> at least... Because I don't... Fuck, I'm gonna get so much hate for putting free riders above it. But I love free I actually quite like free riders. I was like, what, twelve when I played free riders and I hundred percented it. I think, nice. I think David's just gobsmacked with my fucking choices. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he can't handle it. Uh alright. Sonic Generations on the DS right is really good. I think that's I'm gonna put that at high C tier. Yeah, I think Sonic Generations, however, David, this might surprise you. I think Sonic Generations is the best Sonic game ever made. Even better it's, than it's good. Yeah, it's it good. good. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's good. It's good. good. So if I'm if I'm recommending Sonic games, so I was like, yeah, one percent. I was like, yeah, go on Steam. Get Sonic Generations. It's great. But like, the only bad thing about Sonic Generations is probably Planet Wisp. Other than that, it's all great. Like. Planet Wisp is just... Uh, we're going to dodge Sonic Jam, because that never released. We're going to dodge the Sonic Jump games, because who cares. Sonic Lost World on the D... Oh, gee, David, I actually played Sonic Lost World on the 3DS. It's garbage. I can't stand it. I feel bad that I got gifted this. <laughs> at, oh. like, at least the, the Wii U version that I've, play, I've been able to play on PC is a lot better. I'll definitely put Sonic Lost World in C tier. I'm bashing on Lost World. Lost World's fine. It's a bit glitchy at some points, but it's not. It's 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 fine and polished. I think the only glitch I ran into was the Zarbok Bob Spotify, and he just wouldn't show. But what you're saying is that 3DS version just bin it. The, oh yeah, look, the 3DS one. I think Sonic Forces. Oh wait, did I put the wrong? I put the wrong one. This is why I meant. I, I, yeah, I don't... Foreshadowing. <laughs> it's, oh, it was, oh, it's not that bad, but I just, it's not as bad as Forces. Nah, I, I'm hating on Forces too much. I don't, really, I, nothing of these going to F tier, really. Uh, let's keep going. Sonic Heroes, oh man, that's an A tier, that's an S tier. 
That is an utterly S tier. Honestly, yeah. if the controls were better, I'd yeah, make an S. Yeah, the only issue with Sonic Heroes is it's a bit slippery. Alright? And maybe some of the boss fights are a bit bad as well. But other than that, it's great. Like, I like how there's different difficulties for different characters. I like how Team Chaotic have different missions. I like how it's just a good Sonic experience, you know? There's not many of those. It's amazing. Oh, what else is there? The Rivals games, I heard they were okay. I'm just, pl I think I played one, at one point they were okay. Oh, should we just do Sonic R now, David? Where are we putting Sonic yeah. R? Oh, okay. It's, it doesn't deserve A tier. But god damn, the music makes me want to put it in A tier. <laughs> you've got to fight me, David. If you want it any high, if you want it in A tier, you've got to fight. If it just had, like, the level, like, unlocked, so it, it was just a finished game. So even if it was a bad finished game, I could get, like, an S, because it was, like, a bad me. But, like... The music uh, is great. The game is awful, but, like, that... The, the music is banging. Yeah, it's quite nostalgic for me. I think it should be. I think yeah, it should I... be in high C tier. But maybe I, you, I can be justified to move it in B tier if you fight me a little. <laughs> it's where you make it an A. <laughs> it's... Oh, God. Alright. It's got to be a C. Yeah. yeah so. Sonic Mania, I think, is a S tier. Yeah, Sonic Mania is good. I think uh, some of the design. I think my only gripes with Mania, right? I think some, some levels are a bit long for my liking. Um, when I go back and play it, I never touch many of the later levels. I always like to speed run the first few. Um, I guess that's just me. When it comes to Sonic levels, I like really short 2D ones that I can just blaze through. Um, but, you know, like, either other than that, it's still an amazing game. Um, it's just not Sonic 2. <laughs> Sonic 2. We haven't talked about Sonic 1 or Sonic 2 yet, but we'll get there. Uh, I actually played this pinball game and it was actually fairly fun. Save Sonic 2 for last, because that's when you're talking about That's my That's my first Sonic game. Oh, I think I'm out. I think I drank all my side up. Oh boy, I'm going to sleep easy tonight. Uh, which one will we... Alright, so let's do Sonic Riders. I actually never played the original Sonic Riders. I played Free Riders and loved it. I heard Sonic Ride, I heard Sonic Riders was better the first one. I I went back and like watched some of it. I'm probably gonna rate them together as a series. Um, I think they should just both be an A tier. I don't know if you can disagree. I think I like I like yeah I like a lot of the music in Free Riders. I like a lot of the design. But I know people might get mad at me if I put... I think I'll just do this. I think you can agree with me there. Maybe this. Yeah, I think that seems fine to me. Um, I think I forgot to mention that. I, I should, I'm should. i probably going to put a link to this in the, in the description. Uh, it's not the one that I created. I think I borrowed it from someone. I think it's done by this person here. But either way, there's going to be links and references, so you can do it yourself. I don't know, you know, people put effort to get this shit sorted, so, you know, reference the shit out of it. <laughs> what is next, David? We're almost uh, done. Yeah, uh, look, it, yeah, it's cool. I like the setup of the tier list. Also, Sonic 4, what do you think? We're doing that in a minute. Where am I? Okay. Where is Sonic 4? You jumped uh, way ahead. Yeah. still got Sonic Rush. Sonic Rush Adventure, I really enjoyed. B tier. But Sonic Rush with Blaze is definite high A tier for me. Such a good game. I love the boost. It, yeah, it was a good Dimps game. I guess we get a bit too quick. Oh, Sonic the Fighters. The remake that they made for the Xbox Live is amazing. I almost want to put that in A tier. I love Sonic Fighters. <laughs> but it's probably a B. Nah, I'm going to keep it. Right. <laughs> do it. Uh, do it, I will. Ooh, I played this one. And put that. Uh, this is not Sonic 2, by the way. This is the Me uh, Game Gear version. Uh, ooh, I kind of want to rate Sonic 2 and Sonic Mobile differently. So, uh, 
so Sonic 2 on mobile is so much better than the original, right? Because you can actually see what's coming ahead of you better. And oh, they're both great. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna rank Sonic 2 in general, not for different ports, because that'd be fair with the other versions. Sonic 2 David's an S tier for me. SS tier. I I love the music, I love That's the fair. design, I love everything about it. I think the only issue I have is that it's a bit difficult at the end, but whatever. It's fine. <laughs> Uh, Alright, now we're on Sonic 4. D tier is actually not too bad. It was alright. Right. I think Sonic 4 right, was a lot better. Sonic 4 Part 2 was way better. Right, it was still it was still fun. Like, I really liked having a homing attack Sonic. Um, it was fun. Yeah, we're getting towards the end now. I like how we've saved the original Sonic quite towards the end. I think the original Sonic is a bit outdated because depends on the version, right? Like if we count in the original, it's yeah. But if you got Spin Dash, it's quite better. Considering if you have Spin Dash, like the team, right? They spent most of their time planning Green Hill, designing Green Hill, and then the rest was just an afterthought, really. And like you've got Labyrinth Zone, you've got the Spin Dash. It's just a mess, some of it. But they really yeah. fixed it up in Sonic 2. Um, oh, Sonic Shuffle. This was a Sonic Party game for the Dreamcast. Oh, I never played the Dreamcast. Oh, it's had beep. I never played it. That was something I thought fun mentioning. Oh, uh, what else? You know, the Blue Sphere game. I like Blue Spheres. I I do. I like Blue Spheres. Uh, where, 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 where? Sonic Golf was apparently a thing. Triple Trouble was fine. I think I'll put that in here. I didn't really like Triple Trouble. Triple Trouble. I'll put it in here. Oh, yeah, I'll put it in here. I never liked any of the Game Gear games, even though they probably are good games. Now, there's three Sonic Unleashed here, right? Uh, doesn't tell me which one's which. I'm going to count this one as the, the PS2 slash Wii one. And I'm going to count this... I think I'm gonna have to put Sonic Unleash in A tier or S tier, sorry, and then the, the PlayStation Two version probably in A tier. Have you ever played Unleash? I have. I played the one on the Wii. So they got Dimps to work on the. I think Dimps helped them both versions, but they got Dimps to work on the PlayStation Two slash Wii version. It's essentially a whole different game, right? And there's different boost mechanics in each. And there's different stages between them, and without going into a whole rant, Sonic Unleash is great. I'm glad that the apparently the Frontiers game that they're working on is taking heavy inspiration from Sonic Unleash, um, or at least I heard it is. Sonic X. <laughs> you know what? It's it's a good anime. A <laughs> tier. Double S. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite happy with those as my main. I'm favorite. happy with it to be fair. I like Sonic, it. I haven't played Sonic Racing. I think that's it. Yeah. The rest it's of good them list. I haven't played. Nice. Is there we anything did that. you would disagree on? No. I am happy with that for now. <sighs> Wait, we forgot Sonic Spinball. <laughs> <laughs> so did everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Sonic Spinball is great. I don't know what you're on about. Wait, let me show you Sonic Spinball. Sonic Spinball. I don't like having to show my stuff. Disclaimer, by the way, I actually secretly, I actually like Sonic Spinball. Please don't come after me. It is so That's good. my disclaimer. Look at this. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, the sound effects though. It's such a short game though, if you know what you're doing. Oh, it's making me nostalgic. Shit, I'm putting that in beta. Where is it? B, definite B tier. Yeah, and there's the tiers ranking. So I'll let record that. Is there anything on there, David, you disagree with? Let me have a look. Um... I think that's a pretty solid list. I'm happy with that. Now, yeah, I think maybe, like, I think I might shuffle a few around. Like, I think I prefer Sonic and the Black Knight more over Sonic 3. 
I know, I do really like Sonic Black and Knight. Sonic 06, I'd probably put higher, but I'm like too drunk and scared to not put it any higher. I feel like as time goes on as well, you'll shuffle them around because you appreciate yeah. them more. I, I think I think I've always tried to appreciate Sonic 06, whereas people I think and like it's funny, like fifteen years later, right, people are finally starting to appreciate it. Because the mains that the Sonic games are getting so shit. Look like forces, right? There's oh I just want good Sonic writing. Like even if the game's like mediocre, I just at least the writing's good, I'll be happy. Oh, Oh, but yeah, I think I think that's it. I think yeah. Um, nice. So yeah, thank you for. I don't know how long this was. It was probably half an hour, David. It might even be longer. I told you this would take a while. And like we lot dodged so many things. Like there was the popcorn machine. There was all the different versions. Sonic Jump, because who cares? Uh, I think a lot of people actually cared about this this one. I can't remember what it was called. Sonic Jam never released. Yeah. There's a lot of fan projects get that released. Uh, but yeah, I let me know if you agree or disagree. If any of you are actually w any watching, I think this is a good podcast. You know, you just yeah, to li be. like sit down, and listen, listen to me talk sh shit about some <laughs> of your favorite Sonic games. Like David, in ten to fifteen years, right? There's going to be a group of kids that grew up with Sonic Forces, and they're going to be like, this game is so underrated for what it actually was. And they're basically the Sonic 06 players of modern day. <laughs> you know? Like, when the game came out, people talk crap about it. It's going to be a painful Sonic cycle. I do not believe that. I still believe in 15 more years we're still be hearing you be like, Sonic! Adventure 2 is still double S. Like, it yeah. doesn't matter oh, about. No, like, be. we're still. Be, we're all. <laughs> I meant kids, though, from like this like this era in 15 years are going to talk praises oh. about Sonic Forces. I will always be praising Sonic Generations, Adventure 2, and like Sonic 2 as well. They're, they are to my favourites. Um, like, you know, and like Sonic Unleashed will always be in my top 5 or top 10. Uh, Heroes will always be up there. Oh, I want to play Heroes so bad, but they make it so difficult to play Sonic Heroes. Like after Sonic, like Sonic Colors, right, David was stuck on the Wii for years, it's for ten years. So it made sense to remake that game. Like at least with Sonic, and, and, like Sonic uh, Unleashed, you have like the Xbox. You know, you can play that on modern Xbox systems, right? Same thing with 06. Um, that's actually going to get oh, that's going to get 60 FPS boost soon. That's going to be interesting. That'd be great. And uh, Sonic Unleashed is already getting an FPS boost, and that's great. Um, but you know, those games like where the fuck do we go to play Sonic Heroes? Like, do I have to? You have to buy like an old version or emulate it. Do you wait? Do I actually own an? Uh, do I own? <gasps> I own an Xbox Classic Sonic Heroes. I see it right there. And you're not even meant to emulate, so literally you have to set Wait, up a PS2. Did they, did they still emulate an original Xbox games? No, no, you can still do original Xbox games. Yeah, but did uh, they, is Sonic Heroes a part of that original Xbox games? Because I also I have no Hedgehog. idea. Because I, I just found PS2 because I like, own a, I own a whole catalogue of 360 titles. I need to look into. Oh man, you know what? I'm gonna end the video there. Let me know how you um you thought of these. Uh, I'm gonna go pass out talk some shit to David in a second um, but yeah I'm thinking we'll do more of these it'll probably not be Sonic it might be other series uh, Sonic's just a good start for me because I love the franchise so much and it's just pain paining me to see it going this way like, but if you want to hear uh, go on, no you, you said no uh, I was just gonna, but I'll, if you, I was going to say if you just want to hear two guys chatting shit yeah. On a podcast. That's that's all this I was made it. for. That's all I was made for, David. Just to talk shit. About I just want to chat shit about anime, some theories about you know who in like manga, and yeah. give some awful opinions on yeah. tier lists. Like my opinions are my opinions. They don't reflect the communities, do they? No. Oh, oh, damn! I still want to put Shadow higher. Fuck it. Before we end, are you got any final changes? There we go. <laughs> there we are. This is the official list. There we everyone. go.
There we go. That's that's more like it. You're mad. I don't care. I'm happy with that. And we end on that note. Oh, uh, I, I, we. Shadow is an S. That's another thing. Where the hell do I go to play Shadow? You can't. You have to play it on PS2. I, uh, I. Do you know what? I need to buy an original Xbox just to play Shadow and Sonic Heroes because I own physical copies of them. Yes. On Xbox, but can I emulate them on an Xbox One? I don't know. I think yeah, I think I'd like to play Xbox. I'll games. let you lot know yeah. in the description when I upload this. God, this video is going to take all night. <laughs> anyway, goodbye. I'm going to stop this for a Goodbye. Let's.